Laugh out loud, love a lot, and shop for what makes you happy. Hey guys, Mandy here with part five of our Simple Decorating Book Club series. If this is your first time joining us, welcome. I hope you click subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos in this series. And part five is on creative concealments. And this covers tips 30 to 35. So let's get started. Tip number 30 is direct the eye with focal points. And I can't really think of a room in my house that has or had um, a bad focal point. The entry didn't really have a focal point, so I gave it one. But other than that, we haven't really had any bad focal points. Tip number 31 is hide distractions with everyday concealers. And I did this with my kitchen cabinets. I painted the very tops of them white so that the color wasn't so overwhelming. And then I painted the actual cabinet parts teal with chalk paint. And they've held up really well. And I will link to that video where I show you how I did it down below. I also found a really cool creative concealment for TV cords and that's you take all your cords and you put them together with like zip ties and then you wrap them up with rope. So I'm really excited to try that. I haven't done it yet, but I'm excited to. And then the other creative concealment is I want to get a really pretty decorative box um, to put our router and our Roku and our DVD player inside of so that when we're not using them they're not like out and ugly <laughs> and collecting dust. Tip number 32 is select decor friendly storage solutions, which I think is so important. Nothing uglifies a room faster than clear storage containers in my opinion. Tip number 33 is design comfy into large rooms and our only large room is our living room um, and I've designed comfy into it by having lots of throw pillows and throw blankets and layered rugs. Um, so the whole thing is just very comfortable. Tip number 34 is streamline small spaces, which most of the rooms in our house are fairly small. First, she says, make room for what you love, which I definitely have some things that I need to purge. The second thing she says is to look up. Um, so draw the eye upward. And I've done this by hanging all of my curtains up to the ceiling in every room and I've also done this in my entry where I painted stripes on the wall vertical stripes on the wall which worked out well because we had wood paneling in there which we had painted white and then on one wall I did every other panel in teal next she says to be intentional which I find so true and personally I feel like closed storage and clear spaces help keep a small space from feeling too cluttered. Next she says built-ins and I use freestanding structures here in the glam cave um, to kind of create the same effect as a built-in would have. Next she says to get grounded and she talks about using a horizontal stripe rug to help widen a room and we did this in our bedrooms upstairs because they're sort of very narrow we took this wood flooring this faux wood flooring and laid it down across the narrowest way so that the eye was automatically drawn out she also says to choose functional furniture tall and narrow shelving which makes sense because it uses up a small footprint of space while utilizing the height the only warning that i would say about that is having done that before it can darken a room really quickly she also says to use small scale armless pieces um so like armless chairs and stuff which again makes sense it kind of gives the room a more open and airy feeling my problem with armless pieces is i never feel like i can get comfortable in them and since that's kind of an important part for me for my home um i probably wouldn't go that route she also says drop leaf furniture corner storage under storage um all of those make sense and are necessary in small spaces she says to use mirrors to expand visual space which is true pretty much every room in my house has mirrors and reflective surfaces um to not only make this space seem bigger but to brighten it as well and then lastly she says to use dual function selections and I have two pieces that come to mind. The first is my kitchen hutch, um, which is used as a display for the top glass part and then storage for the bottom part. Um, and then also it's where my husband drops off his keys and wallet and stuff. And then the other piece is actually right behind me. It's my desk and it's a backdrop for all of my videos and it's 
a sewing table and a craft table and an office all wrapped up into one piece. It does have storage on the sides as well. Um, there's three drawers on each side and one in the middle. So it's definitely a multifunctional piece. Tip number 35 is embellish your furniture. And she lists several ways to do that. The first is metallic paint, which I did this with the hardware in my kitchen. I used an oil rub bronze spray paint. Um, the next is to wallpaper the backs of bookcases, which I use contact paper instead of wallpaper. It's repositionable, it's cheaper, it's less hassle. Um, but I did do this in the back of my hutch. She also suggests using cloth as a slip cover. Um, I do this with this chair, actually, um, and it keeps me warm in the winter, too. I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to come back next week for the next section, and I will talk to you then. Bye.